Hello and welcome to another RadToots.com action script tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain how we create movie clips using action script and then how to use the keyboard to control those movie clips. So if I go over here to my library, you can see that I have four of these movie clips here already created. And what these basically are is they are walking, uh, they're images of this character walking left right, up, and down. Now I'm going to create a new movie clip here that incorporates all four of these uh, movie clips and you will see why in a second. So I'm just going to come up here and I'm going to insert new symbol and we'll call this character and this is the main movie clip that we're going to be working with and we're going to be creating an instance of this movie clip from within our action script on our root action script frame here. So the first thing we need to do before we can create a movie clip using action script is we want to right click on the movie clip in our library that we're going to create with our action script and we want to select this linkage uh, button here. And what we have to do f before we can create one of these movie clips with our action script is we have to export uh, export this movie clip for our action script. So if you click on this little checkbox here, and we'll just leave the name, the identifier is also is the name that uh, we use to refer to uh, this movie clip from our action script. So we'll just keep that as the word character. And hit OK and now we can come up here to our action script and we can create a new movie clip using that identifier but first what we want to do is we want to actually put something in this movie clip so we can tell that we've actually uh, created this movie clip and when I say create movie clip I mean we're going to create an instance of it within our uh, our canvas here so let's go into this character movie clip and let's make four frames, four keyframes, uh, one for each direction that our character is going to be facing. And then once we have our four keyframes in our character movie clip, we'll just click and drag each one of these animations into each one of these keyframes up here. So there's down, and then we'll put left, and then we'll put right in the second keyframe, and then we'll put the up animation in our first keyframe. Now we want these all to be lined up, so we'll just click on the movie clip in each frame, and we'll just come down here to our properties panel and we'll set our X and Y coordinates for each of these movie clips to zero. And this will just make sure that the, the animation is smooth and lined up. And you'll notice that if I were to manually create this movie clip and test it, he's just spinning around in circles. Uh, that's okay for now, because we're going to determine which direction he's facing based on our keyboard uh, buttons. So let's go ahead and let's figure out how to create an instance of this character movie clip on our canvas here. Let me just close this. The command we want to use for attaching a movie clip is first we want to say which movie clip we're attaching the movie clip to and we're going to be attaching it to the, our root movie clip and the command is attach movie and this function has three as you can see here, it has three parameters that we need to set. We need to set the ID name, which is 
the uh, the link the linkage name that we set in, when we went to linkage in our uh, in our library here. So that's going to be character, and then there's new name. We separate our parameters with a comma here, and then there's new name, which is another string variable, and this is going to be the name, the actual instance name of the movie clip that we're creating. So let's just call it char for short. And then last but not least is depth. And depth is basically a, uh, a number that indicates what layer or how deep on your layers the movie clip is going to be. And the easiest way to do this is just to use root dot get next highest depth. And that'll basically take a look at your root and it'll just set the, your new movie clip to the most appropriate depth. So if we test this, we can see that our movie clip has been attached to our main, our root movie clip here. So let's say we want to we want to position our movie clip that we created. We refer to it using the instance name, which we set here to char. And we could set our variables such as our x variable or our y uh, coordinate position. So if we set those to 100 and then test it, you can see that it's now down here. But uh, the first thing we want to really do is we want to we want to move this movie clip around using our keyboards or keyboard buttons or arrow keys in this case. So this is how we do that. Every time our character movie clip enters the frame, we are going to run this function to detect which of our arrow keys are pressed down and move the movie clip according to which arrow key is down. And the way we do this is we use some if statements. So we say if key, which refers to our keyboard, and then we use the is down variable. So if this key is down, then we run this code here. So we want to indicate which key we are detecting. And the way we do that is we use our keyboard object again and we use uh, the word up, down, left, or right. So let's start with up. And you have to use uh, capitals. And I'm just going to use a trace function and I'm going to trace the word up just to test to see if this is working. So I'm going to go ahead and save this file first. And now let's test to see if our our key up detection is working. So I'm going to hit the up key. And there we see now if I hold it down it's just going to print off a whole bunch of those ups. But we see that it is detecting our keyboard. So mission accomplished. So let's just go ahead and copy and paste this uh, four times or three times. And we'll just go and change these to left. Down. And right. And test it again just to make sure we know what we're doing here. Down, right, and up. So far, so good.